No, you look like you're not from too good. Are you past your classes? Yes, I've been going on and doing all this. Yeah, I'm just, I promise. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to start out. Uh, we're going to learn some of the positions by name. Um, you got five people on the court at one time. You have your center, your power forward, your shooting guard, your point guard, and your small forward. Okay? Obviously by this picture, your power forward and your center, that's your shack type people. Your big people, they want to stay inside, protect the paint. Your point guard is kind of like your quarterback, if that makes sense. Um, your point guard, they will score, you know, see Derrick Rose, but mainly what you're doing is you're distributing, setting up the offense. The offense runs through you. Your shooting guard is your guy who's typically going to be your most potent scorer. That's your, your Kobe's, your Dwayne Wade's, your guys like that. <coughs> your small forward's a bit of a hybrid. Um, he's big enough that he can get inside and play a little defense there, um, but he's nimble enough that he can come out and still shoot if need be. Um, basically what I'm going to walk you guys through right here is a, a very, very basic rotation defense. Now let's say you got, you got a player here for the offense, you have one down low, uh, you got your point up here, you got another player here and another one on this corner. What you're doing is you don't want everybody running around back and forth running into each other. And we're going to practice this later on. What you're doing is let's say balls with this guy. Okay, Point guard's here, small forward's here, power forward comes up to around the free throw line, center stays about where he is, shooting guard stays here. You might say this guy's uncovered. Why? Because he's got to throw it a long way to get it to him, which gives you time to, to move and run. Um, you're going to have to be athletic to play basketball, and you're going to have to run a lot. Um, so let's say he passes it here. Your guard's going to shift, this guard's going to shift, and basically you're going to see it. Imagine this being a shell, and whenever the ball goes this way, you just move the shell. And you're going to shift it back and forth no matter where the ball's going. You know, if the ball goes here, this center is going to come up, he's going to replace. And you can kind of see, you don't have to know a lot about basketball, it's fairly obvious. Um, you know, who goes where, you're more or less just following the ball and shifting the defense with where the ball's going. Um, I know y'all are probably like, what is he talking about? So uh, we're going to walk through it later on. Um, but right now, I'm going to get y'all to stand up. Everybody go get a ball out of the bin. I brought it over here for you. And meet me back right here. Do it on the hop. Down to wake up, Jordy. Or is that what, you worked out too much? No, it's not his normal peppy tail. You feel it's good enough to video it? Yeah. You don't have to. I know. I don't just, I'm just scared I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, it's that time. What are you going to say? Um, maybe you just better sit down. I'm like, hot. It'll get better as the day goes on. I'm like, so. Notice he doesn't have a ball. The rest of you, this blue square right here, you see the outlines of it? Everybody know what square I'm talking about? Half court. Good. We're going to play a little bit of zombie tag. You're all going to be running around, dribbling. You have to dribble. You can't pick up your ball. And you have to keep the ball moving. You can't stand in place. Felix is going to be our zombie number one. Felix is going to be trying to steal your ball from you. When Felix steals your ball, guess what happens to you? You become zombie number two. Kind of looks like a zombie. Yeah. And we're going to go. <laughs> slightly less bloody, but we'll go with it. And we're going to go until we got one person left. And I guess that would be, uh, you know, Will Smith or something. Whatever you want to call him. So we're going to get started inside this blue circle. This, uh, Come this on. square right here. It's a lot of area. If you pick up your ball, who is going to go you play basketball? What position? So you understand all that, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. 
at the end of this semester, you're going to be giving the bottom of the screen and you're going to play out. Okay? If you're going to be the bottom of the screen, you're going to stay on your screen, and then you're going to have a playoff between the two. We're doing basketball for the week, huh? Okay, now we're going to have a playoff. I thought you were doing basketball for the week, so I'm going to have a playoff. Oh, the zombies are after Red. Uh, Shay, I mean. It was a good game. Good warm up game. They've got to have fun. If kids don't have fun, they won't come play. And after after a slow start last class, we need something real good here. I was even yawning in the Take them out, take them out. Oh, we got one left. Yes, cool. Very cool. Some of you got some skill. A little, a little out of shape, but. No yawning, Romero. It's going to be a great day today. Hump day. Well, stretching is never the most exciting part, is it? Line up right here. 
Oh, yeah, and I get, the lefty is happy. Now it's time to show off, huh, Joe? Joe, I need to speak to you after class, okay? Not bad with the messed up ankle. She's get she's moving a lot better than she was. Yes, yeah, she rolled it pretty good. She's tough. Yes, the lefty demonstrates proper form. Everybody else is making up for it though. Isn't it? I mean, we're all kind of one trick ponies around here, yeah. you know? It's like, that's what we grew up with. It's like, it's like sports. And in my generation, people grew up playing all sports. That's, yeah, that's how my mom and my mom were. Yeah. So that's why this class was invented, because we need a little breath, yeah. No, they went and got their hair cut, huh? All right, guys, we're going to go with free throws. Um, free throws are obviously uh, what you get. It's your reward for being fouled. Um, your free throw line is, is this line right here, this black one. Um, you get the opportunity typically, I mean, there's some exceptions to the rule, but typically you're going to get two shots. Uh, what you want to do is you want to just go up to the line. You want to be as comfortable as you can. Whatever you want to do, you know, everybody's got a different <coughs> thing that they do. Uh, whether you want to dribble three times, it really doesn't matter. And you want to make sure you have good form. And what you want to do when you're when you're doing your form is it kind of you're going to look sort of like a duck head. And what you want to do 
is you want to have your arm back at a 90 degree angle. You don't want to have that elbow chicken wing. All right, and don't worry about making the shots right now. If it's changing your form, you're not going to hit them all. Um, and you're going to be holding it like you're holding a plat, right? Wrist all the way back. It's right by your ear, okay? And you're going to go up with the ball, flicking your wrist all the way forward, and it's going to end up looking like that, like a duck with a limp neck. All right, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to put each pair on a goal. You guys are going to take that one. You guys are right here. Brittany Keeler, y'all right here. Y'all are going to be at that one over there by the uh, pennies. And you guys are going to take that goal right there. Yes, sir. Each one's going to be the You're going to have to steal his keys. So we need to right? Now, what we're going to start off with is the first thing we're going to do before we back up is shoot free throws. And I'm going to want you and your partner to come up and don't feel goofy because I had to do it this way. You're going to line up right underneath the goal and you're going to work on your form. Okay? This way it's a pretty close shot. You have to get some confidence up and get your form down. All I want you doing is with one hand focusing on doing that form. Focus on bringing that wrist back following through, okay? We're going to get used to that before I back you up with the free throw line. Get a little confidence up in your shot, all right? Partners, if you're not shooting, you should be critiquing your other partner. I'm not going to be able to watch everybody, so make sure that they're doing what we talk about. We'll get it started on the whistle, guys. Oh, beautiful duck with a broken neck. We got the two basketball girls here. So. No pressure for the camera, right? You notice you made the shot. Okay, gonna follow the camera over, see what he tells. Now, one of those people is not a basketball person. Can he make it in front of the camera? You know, the camera messes you up, huh? Too much pressure. Oh, look at that. Is that right? That. Nothing but net. Good job. Sweet. It looks so sweet. Oh, they're having a hard time waking up this morning. Pretty, pretty. sure that you're bringing that offhand with you. You're not shooting with two hands. All your offhand is a guide. Okay? When you're coming up, it shouldn't be on top of the ball. It shouldn't be underneath. It should be 
sleeping right here on the side of it, okay? And all you should do is be touching with your fingertips. It's just simply a god. So add in that second offhand, all right? We ain't got too much longer this guy. Make a count. how you can either get extra possessions on one when you miss a shot or how you can kill the possession for the other team. All right. It's very similar getting rebounds to being a wide receiver in football. All right. When the ball's coming off that rim or the backboard, whatever it's coming off of, you want to make sure you're in an athletic position, okay, which is squatted down. You can't jump very high with your knees straight. You got to get some force underneath it. Okay? And I want you going up and high pointing the ball. All right. so, Whenever the ball comes off the rim, whatever it's going to do, one of your, your partner is going to be throwing it up. Please try to miss on purpose. Whenever, whenever the ball goes off, I want to make sure that whenever it goes up, the partner is down. And when the ball goes up, you're high point there, okay? You're not waiting for it to come down. Whenever you go and get it, get it with both hands, bring it down, and then switch, okay? Everybody back to your goals. We're going to run over that for a little bit. Danica, if you can jump. Yeah, do not jump. That You'll be starting all over again. But why don't you critique their stuff? supposed to make it.
over is boxing out. I paired y'all up with people your size and gender so we don't get bullied in the paint. Um, what boxing out basically is, you can't go through the back of an opponent to get to a ball. Just like pass interference in football. You know, you can't go through the back of the receiver to knock it down if you're a corner. Okay? So what you're doing as an offensive player is let's say you see the rebound coming and it works well if you're here by yourself. Right? But what happens if there's somebody else trying to get it from you? What you gotta do is the person's gonna be behind you. Twink, see? Let's say he's on offense and I'm trying to get a defensive rebound. So the ball's going to go up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get down in an athletic position and I'm going to put my back to him, okay? And I'm going to put my arms out so he has to go a long way to get around me. Because remember, he can't go through me to get to the ball. So the ball goes up, I'm going to back him down, push him out and away from it to where he can't get, and then I'm going to explode and catch my rebound. That's boxing out, it makes the box behind you, okay? So we're gonna work on that. Two people, one's gonna be the defender, one's gonna be the rebounder, and the other one's gonna be throwing. I'm gonna go help you guys out for right now. And we're gonna get that started. Y'all gonna get close. This makes us know it's a long Huh? Yeah. What about that drip, that thing you just did go for? Not everybody could see you. Yeah. When you turn your back. Yeah. We couldn't hear anything he said. Pull him in. Pull him in. If he can't. Or he could have gotten on the other side. And then everybody in the whole place could see. Yeah. When you when you turn your back, they can hear a noise. But you look. Right. Yeah, he's having to reteach it because he, he did it with his back to them. So do you think all these people that are playing today are picking up that step? Because if you're sitting and you're not in the game, you notice a lot more. See if you could only teach it here. Right. I know because I was doing a lot more stuff in there. You learn from everybody else's mistakes. You get better off the smoke. Well. But now when you take 215, you'll have an advantage. Because yeah. most of those people are their first class. Oh really? Ninety percent of them? I'm going to go down with these guys. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> he keeps making the basket. It's only because you're trying not to. I just can't handle the pressure of the camera. Okay, he's got it. Let's see. Oh, beautifully done. Beautifully done. Court, I want y'all to move. Don't turn you back to them. And remember everything that we went over, chest passing, bounce passing, your layups, uh, boxing out, all those things. And we're going to be playing three on three. First team to score two wins. And we're going to keep them rotating. Rotating now so we can get y'all playing. Uh, we're going to start out with this team. You guys going to get some tennis. Now I can tell them apart. Yes, you are. You regret wearing those long sleeves today. It was. Yes. Slight height advantage there, huh? Let's see. Jordy was a point guard. So let's see what he can do. Oh, oh,
Zach. Mm hmm. You can see a lot of walking. Yeah, he's not calling you. But maybe he's just wanting them to get the other car. I don't know. Oh, bosses. Danica. No play. <laughs> Be a good game if y'all could not. <laughs> yes. Or if we didn't have so many walking violations. She wants to play. I'm not letting her play. That those ankles take forever to heal. And and your instincts is, oh, we don't feel that bad today. And then get up the next morning, you can't move. Are you ready, guys? Just an ankle Yep. Just it keeps stepping in there. Yep. Joe, your foot's on the ball. Bad pass there. Come on, can you get it? Oh. Oh. Did he get it? Oh no. And they got the rebound. Oh. <laughs>
Shit. <laughs> 